Hello everyone, in this session we are going to discuss the elastic limit and proportional limit for a given material. We will draw a stress strain curve for that material and we will also show that elastic limit and proportional limit are very close to each other. And then based on that we will define the Hooke's law. While defining the Hooke's law we will introduce a new quantity that is called Young's modulus of elasticity. That Young's modulus of elasticity is a constant for a given material. And then we will derive a deformation of the bar. If we apply an external load to a bar, what is the deformation of the bar? And we will obtain a very important formula which you have to remember for the gate exam or any other competitive exam. So let us start the topic. Let us first define what is elastic limit. elastic limit as we know that uh, stress and strain are the two important terms whenever we have a deformation in the bar there is deformation in the bar and we have got strain in this bar which is given by delta L upon L change in length upon original length and this delta what is delta L this is the deformation delta L and L is the original length of the bar and this is strain and stress is given by force per unit area it has some area of cross section it may be circular it may be rectangular suppose it has circular area of cross section so this is area of cross section of this bar so we can write force per unit area is stress let us draw a stress strain curve and what type of typical curve we obtained in this case. Strain is taken on this axis, x axis and stress is taken on y axis, right? Typically you will find that for some time, for some period, we, if we increase the strain, uh, the stress will be proportional to the strain and we have got a straight line. So we will, got, we will get a straight line for a limited uh, increase in strain and then after that there will be a curvature found for a small period like this B. So this B is elastic limit and this A is proportional limit. What is meant by B elastic limit? Up to B if we remove this force we will completely regain our original dimensions. It means that after or beyond elastic limit if we remove this load there will be permanent deformation in the material so b is the elastic limit elastic limit because up to this limit we regain our original dimensions after the remo removal of force and a is slightly different than b in the sense that the uh, stress strain curve is a straight line up to a or O A so up to from O to A the stress, stress strain curve is a straight line or stress is proportional to strain so this is called proportional limit proportional limit so now we can define two terms elastic limit first what is elastic limit the limit up to which the body regains regains its original dimensions after the removal of external force After the removal of external force, we are completely getting the same dimensions as that ever before. That limit is called elastic limit. And what is proportional limit? The limit up to which up to which stress strain curve is a straight line stress sigma 
स्ट्रेन एप्साइलन स्ट्रेस स्ट्रेन कर्व इज ए स्ट्रेट लाइन सो लेट अस डिफाइन नाउ हुक्स ला हुक्स ला what is hooks law you have seen here that within certain limit there is a straight line curve means stress is proportional to strain and this is the law that within proportional limit within proportional limit stress is proportional to strain so stress is proportional to strain this is hooks law and in most of the material you will found that proportional limit and elastic limit are very close to each other both are very close to each other so that these two points are almost merge in each other right so that's why you will find that in few books you will found that the term used here is not proportional limit they are using elastic limit so that is also okay up to certain limit but actually this is proportional limit but safely you can use the lim uh, limit as elastic limit also so in few big books you will find the term the law as that within elastic limit stress is proportional to strain and th this is also okay because the two points are very close to each other right so now if we remove this proportional sign what we will get so you will get here i am writing stress is proportional to strain stress is proportional to strain and we are removing this proportional sign and and as you know that whenever we remove a proportional sign you will get a constant so whenever we will remove a proportional sign you will get a constant and here the constant is we are writing it e and epsilon and what is this e that e is equal to sigma by epsilon from here and what is this e this is young's modulus of elasticity this is called a constant which is young's modulus of elasticity and it is uh, a constant for a given material right so what are the units what are the units of this e you know that the units of stress stress is stress has units of newton per meter square and strain has no units it is dimensionless so the units of e is also newton per meter square because stress stress has the units of newton per meter square and epsilon has no units so you will get the same units as that of stress that is newton per meter square let us derive a small formula for uh, deformation of the bar this formula is very useful for many numericals so deformation of bar so we have bar it may be a circular road or rectangular cross section or whatever it is and a load p is applied to it and there is some deflection deformation in this bar due to this applied load suppose delta l and the original length of this bar was l so we want to find out this deformation and it derive we want to derive a formula for this which can be used a ready made formula uh, in many numericals uh, few things we already know that sigma is proportional to epsilon and sigma is equal to e epsilon and e equal to sigma by epsilon this we have already derived right so e equal to sigma by epsilon now what is sigma what is sigma we know sigma is load upon area we already know and epsilon is the strain that is change in length upon original length so stress is force upon area strain is 
change in length upon original length so suppose this is equation 1 this is equation 2 and this is equation 3 so put 2 and 3 these two equations in equation number 1 in 1 what you will get that e will be equal to sigma that is load upon area and epsilon strain change in length upon original length so from here you will find out delta L deformation of the bar in terms of P, L, A and E. So you will get delta L will be equal to P, L will become numerator, A will come in denominator and E will also come in denominator. So delta L will be equal to P, L upon A, E. So this is very important formula for deformation of simple bar so that this formula can be used directly in many numericals p l upon a e right where p where p is nothing but external load external load this is also equal to internal load because we are talking within elastic limit right that's why i am writing external load this is external load and uh, l l is the length of the bar A is the area of cross section and E is modulus of elasticity or Young's modulus of elasticity right. So these are the terms used in this formula PL upon AE you have to remember this formula which will be directly used.